Hello everybody, welcome back to the buffness, and welcome to my review of the Nautilus V2. Q cringy b-roll. Yeah, sorry you guys had to see that, but uh, whatever. I spent way too long on that and uh, not super proud of the results, but who cares? You guys are here for the Nautilus reviews, not my uh, well-known sensational B-rolls. But anyway, this is my summer Nautilus V2. That's what I'm gonna call it because, you know, the winter Nautilus has the white scales and squid doesn't make red scales, but glider does. So I put slap these on and uh, it's a summer Nautilus. Super cool, right? Yes. Uh, anyway, this is gonna be both my review of the Nautilus V2 uh, by itself and the glider scales, okay? I'll talk a little bit about the normal squid scales, nothing wrong with them. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's get started. So this guy is my first uh, somewhat expensive balisong, okay? I, in the end, it was about 280, $280, and that's quite a bit of money. I don't quite know if it was worth it yet because I've never flipped anything this nice. Got a Prisma Pro on the way, so that will, I guess, be a test to see, even though it's half the price. But anyway, this guy flips very good, obviously. It's got okay tolerances, better than any of my other ballast songs. Sounds great. I don't know if you can hear that because of the wind, but uh, if you can't, I will put a uh, clip right here. And uh, if that clip didn't play, then you guys are here. But anyway, this guy, like I said, flips great. I will have a uh, flipping B-roll later or an F-roll, I don't know. But I'll have one of those later when I get, uh, once I film it, I don't know. Haven't made it yet, but uh, you know what? F roll starts right here. Hopefully uh, that wasn't as bad as the B roll. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you didn't enjoy it or if it was really cringy. But anyway, just subscribe in general. But anyway, we're gonna go over some pros and cons I have about the Nautilus itself. Okay? So, some pros I have. This thing flips amazingly, as you saw in the F roll, right? It flips great. I think. It's the best thing that I've ever flipped, and we'll just say that. Okay, Prisma Pro on the way, we'll see. But anyway, flips good. It looks beautiful, right? Like, I really like the look of the Nautilus. I like the shape of it, just the feel of it. I like the weight of it. I like the lightness, you know, because I started out, I learned on a battle songs that I 3D printed myself, designed myself, all that. Those things were not super great. Still hoping to make those in the future, make good ones. Tay flipper style. Oh! But, uh, yeah, they, they weren't the best thing to learn on. However, that means my preferences are kind of more towards lighter ballast songs. I think my Volp is the heaviest ballast song I have, and it feels heavy to me. Doing, you know, the underhand full twirl, the zero G full twirl, I call it. That kind of feels a little heavy on the Volp but it's no problem on the Nautilus, and that is one of the things I like about it. I like the lightweight. Okay, flipping, lightweight, looks, all great things about the Nautilus. Well, I think of more great things, let's talk about the bad things about it. The tolerances, they could be better, let's just say that. I disassembled this a couple times to 
put on my glider scales. And there's just a lot of wiggle room when you put it together. Like you could get much tighter tolerances, I believe. Like with the bushings and all that, if you just made everything a little thicker, then uh, you could probably have machine-wise level tolerances. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to see what machine-wise tolerances are like once I get my uh, Prisma. But from what I've seen in Will Hirsch videos and all that stuff, they're pretty darn good. So I'm very excited. But anyway, this thing could have tighter tolerances. Not a big complaint, but it is a complaint. Uh, let's see. Yes, the hardware. So right here, up here, I got the glider hardware. I don't know if you can see that. That is the glider hardware. Super nice stuff. I actually broke one of my bolts, which I left in the house. I was going to show you guys, but I forgot it. But one of my screws, I dropped it on carpet and it just broke. I don't know what's, what happened there. I messaged uh, Glider. We'll see if they respond. Or they will respond, but we'll see if they send me new hardware. That would be amazing. But anyway, that's not really anything to do with the uh, Squid Industries, like not at all. But that is something wrong with my Nautilus, okay? You won't have that problem unless you get the Glider screws and get a defective one like I did and drop it on carpet and it just happens to break. Okay, that is uh, one in, I don't know, a thousand chance of happening. But anyway, the squid hardware, I also got some issues with. I stripped like four screws while trying to get the tap out of it. This thing had tap for a while once I put my glider scales on it and it's because I wasn't using the glider hardware. Like, doesn't have tap with the glider hardware. But with the squid hardware on the glider scales, that does not work. I don't recommend doing that. You will have tolerance issues. You literally can't get it tight enough to get the tolerances like that with the squid hardware. I have squid hardware on the bottom because it doesn't matter and because I'm missing a screw. But anyway, the squid hardware, it's a little soft. Like my Volt, that hardware is like a tank. It breaks, it's broken like five bits. Uh, yeah, I guess that shows you how good at tuning I am. Uh, and the squid hardware broke one bit and then the screws started breaking. So yeah, be pretty careful with those. They did come with tons of extra hardware. So, uh, that's pretty cool. But anyway, that could be better. And I, th I think that's about it. I think that is all of the, uh, issues I have. The white, uh, scales that came with my Nautilus, those things uh, were pretty nice. I liked them. I liked the roundness of them. They were a little, they're a little more round than uh, the glider stuff and way more round than the clone that I had. The Nautilus clone that the handle gap just died immediately. Yeah, that stuff. Uh, so those were pretty smooth, really nice. Probably kind of like the similarities between the Prisma and the Prisma V2, you know, with the uh, uh, kind of blocky handles on the Prisma and the more rounded out handles on the Prisma Pro, Prisma V2, whatever. So yeah, I, I liked those. They were pretty nice, really comfortable. These uh, red scales are super comfortable as well. Really like them. I just prefer the color and uh, the design, you know, a lot more squared off. But anyway, what I was trying to say is uh, that those white scales, they got dirty pretty fast. But uh, quick tip, if you have a Winter Nautilus or any white G10, like a Marcolo Comet or whatever, just use some, uh, oh, use some rubbing alcohol and that just cleans it up really nice. It literally got all the stains off. So yeah, just do that every few days <laughs> and you'll be good. But anyway, those are my pros and cons of the Nautilus. Couldn't think of anything better really except I guess the laser engraving, super clean, really pretty. So uh, no issues with that. I was kind of scared they would like, I don't know, put on the buttness or something, even though I put in the buffness uh, onto their website, I was kind of worried. But then when it came and it said the buffness, I was like, oh yes, that's good. So yeah, nice, accurate laser engraves. <sighs> Let me see, what else? Should I talk about? 
Uh, durability, that was the thing. Yes, durability. This thing is pretty darn durable, other than my glider screw that busted. <laughs> the Nautilus itself is crazy durable for what I thought. You know how on Squid's website, you go into the just like under the description and the specs and all that. There's that performance pentagon on their website, you know. This thing had not good durability on the performance pentagon. It should have better, uh, better durability on there because it's good. Like here is a quick clip of uh, one of the drops, not that one, a far worse drop that I had. Yeah, so this thing's a tank. It, uh, it can hold up to anything. Just like that. Watch, no tap. No tap whatsoever. Yeah, pretty durable. Uh, I highly recommend you pick one of these up if you really like Nautiluses, not a lie. I'd pick up a clone first if you've never tried one because it is very different in a good way for me but maybe in a bad way for you. So I would pick up a clone, test it out, see what you think. Your clone will not hold up, but you will get the experience of a Nautilus for two weeks. And then you can decide whether or not you want to buy a real Nautilus or not. That looks hot, you can get it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you made it this far, make sure to subscribe it because that is super cool that you watched my whole video. Very much appreciate it. Also leave a comment because I love reading your comments. Make me laugh, occasionally cry. But anyway, yep. Comment, subscribe, like the video if you want to, if you liked it. And uh, share the video with as many people as you can. Thank you so much for watching.